Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name is Sensei Name here, and today I will be discussing, um, or at least helping, one of my viewers that left a comment. Um, let me just get the comment. Uh, here's the comment, Carlos Suarez. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Hi, I'm wondering if you can make a video explaining how to use Hydra's data using the new world partition system in UE5. And um, I'm going to make this video all about that. So this Hydra's data is mentioned in this, uh, based on my video, importing real world height maps into Unreal Engine. Um, he just wants help actually using this with uh, world partition. And I can understand why it might be daunting to do this, because if you go to the world settings, you try to enable world partition, it can't be enabled. So this video will explain to you how you can take this video, importing real world height maps into Unreal Engine, and mix it with the new world partition system in UE5. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Uh, now that we're in UE, we should just go to Edit, go to Project Settings, and then we will scroll down to Engine, uh, to World Partition, and then we'll enable World Partition. Now, this isn't all you should do. In fact, there's one problem. Even if we go enable that, we still can't tick enable world partition. And the reason for this is this level is kind of a throwaway. We can only input or use world partition on new new levels after we've changed that setting. So what we should do is we should just press file, create new level. Um, I like using default, but you can use any of these. And uh, now we're in the new level. So world partition is automatically enabled. So, how do we use world partition? Well, you could just take our landscape, because this is a direct, uh, like, a replacement, not really a replacement, an add-on video for that other video. So, you can import from file, and you can choose a height map file. I'm going to go to my desktop, and I picked out this landscape. It's somewhere in America, I can't really remember where it is, in fact. Um, and also I did a math calculation for the scale. So if I just go to this video, here's the math calculation. Um, so let me just take that. It's 26,7865. So I can just go and multiply this all uh, with 26.78. I'm just going to make it 60. It doesn't have to be too precise for this tutorial. It's just a basic tutorial. If you really want accurate world scale, uh, you should follow my other tutorial I created on this. And boom, now it's scaled up. And the fin is right. Um, now that we've enabled world partition, uh, there's an option in the landscape tool called world partition grid. And this is the number of components per landscape, streaming proxies per axis. Now, the more you put in here, the more pieces there, like there is to load. And it might seem pretty cool to really increase the size of this so that there's only small sections. So the player only has to load small sections of the world. But you got to understand that the parts that's really close to the player still needs to be loaded into RAM or a fast storage device. So you kind of have to balance this with uh, performance of your player's computer, but also um, his storage speed and his RAM speed, because I assume most of this would be saved to RAM. Not most of the level, but at least those close to the player will be stored in RAM, at least on PC. Um, so I'm going to leave it at the default world partition grid size. Uh, you can adjust it to uh, fit the performance you find working pretty well. So once you're done here, you just press import. And while this is importing, uh, wow, actually it's going to import pretty quickly. Um, just wait for it to respond. Um, while this is doing this, I have to explain something very important with this wall partition tool, um, something you can go or get confused in. Um, it's kind of like the level doesn't load in every time you start up the engine. Uh, 
that's normal behavior in fact um, i'll show you how to um import or not import um reload uh, chunks of the map um every time you load up ue so here we have the mode uh the map sorry um now see this this looks good right it's the map's important. Everything seems pretty fine, going very well. There's one problem though. If I go and I just save current level, let's just call it new map. Now, while this is saving, like I said, there's a really important thing we have to talk about, and that's what I'm gonna handle right now. Just. Okay. So. If I ever go and create a new level, uh, let's just load it in. Uh, it's just gonna save selected, of course. And while we're loading, yeah, this is a new world. We're not gonna do anything with this world. But the moment we load into our new map, and this is something that will happen when you start up the editor again. Um, yeah, actor, instance, foliage, actor has empty bounds and landscape has empty bounds. Well, why? Well, uh, guess what? The map deleted itself. Or it really didn't, it's just hiding itself. So how you unhide that is you go to your window, and then you open World Partition. Um, I have World Partition docked here. And the thing is, right, this is, uh, if you scroll out, you can see this is where the player is, right? Or where are, we are in the scene. Um, here's the landscape. So we should select the entirety of the landscape we want to load in. So just select everything here. And what you want to do is you want to go right click, load selected cells. And here we've loaded back up the entire map. Um, what's great about this is you, because of these cells, you can just go and let's say I want to uh, take this one, for example and I want to unload it, then I lose this part of the map. So this means if you want to work only on a certain part of the map and still keep pretty decent performance, this is the way you do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. Hit like if you liked the video, hit dislike if you didn't. And it's important to note that World Partition is still in beta because the uh, UE5 is still in beta. So if you encounter any problems, it's because of that reason. Anyway. Good night, everybody.